Um, my name is Max Cardellieri. I'm one of the founders and the managing director of Alpha Sites. What we do as a company is to help leading professionals globally very, very quickly get to the knowledge they need in order to be successful and make, make a decision. So when you think about the um, competitive marketplace today, for, for most people and, and most companies, it's global, it's, it's ambiguous, it's fast moving, it's complex. So you've got to you know, constantly be, be aware of what's going on in your environment, what your competitors are doing, what the market wants from you, um, what best practices in your, in your industry. And um, that means you're constantly facing knowledge gaps uh, where you don't know any more, you know, um, or don't have the answer basically. And uh, so what we do is um, we've developed a global platform through which professionals can very, very quickly reach out to people who have the answers to their questions. And we connect the two parties um, and thereby make knowledge flow much more quickly than ever before. I suppose the, the nice thing as, as an entrepreneur, there is no, no typical day. Um, again, if you, you know, are responsible both for making sure that the whole company um, succeeds um, and you know, your clients get what they want from you, but on the other hand also you know, looking at every team member and, and making sure that everyone in the, in the firm is, is happy and they know where they're going, um, your, your role varies, uh, varies the whole time. I mean, um, my week, let's start with that, started off in, in Korea, meeting with clients and understanding you know, what we can do to serve them and serve them even better in and, and, and a more broader sense than we do currently went on to Hong Kong, met with our team there, discussed our Asia strategy, how to build the team there, um, where to recruit, you know, how to, how to build career paths within Asia. Uh, came back, had our US team over here yesterday and kind of started looking into planning the next year with the US team. Um, today we're here working on the, again, on the, on the campus recruiting activities and on marketing. So, you know, every, every day is different and there's a, it's a whole varied um, big spectrum and that, that makes it so exciting. In terms of our market positioning, I would say that um, we w we're very much shaping the market. You know, this market is emerging; it's young, um, and I think we're really pushing pushing the envelope every day. You know, what we are doing, I don't think many other companies have done or are doing at the moment, um, and that's. Uh, that, that again makes it very challenging because we're constantly figuring out what our clients want, what they've done in the past to solve the problems, um, you know, what other uh, alternatives have they used and how can we be ultimately better, faster and cheaper than existing alternatives, which I think makes any company successful if you can serve your clients in this way better, faster, cheaper, um, then, then you've got a winning formula. And I think when you look at what our clients would traditionally have used, um, it's market research uh, companies, they would have you know, commissioned bespoke research, they would have commissioned bespoke consulting services uh, as a way of solving the knowledge gaps and the problems they face. And we are now a platform through which they can do that um, you know, in, a, in a faster, better and cheaper way in many ways. Um, so yeah, we're, we're pushing the envelope. I would say we're the premium provider, the most bespoke provider, trying to solve our clients' problems in the, in the most value-added manner. Um, but we're very much making the market as we, as we, as we grow as a firm. I think the skills are very much on the on the. It's, it, it's less skills; it is more personality traits that you need in order to succeed, and you then build up skills as a consequence. So I think we very much look for traits in the people that we hire. Um, I would say the core trait is probably curiosity. Unless you're naturally curious and want to learn about the world, um, you will not be very good at this at this job because it is constant thinking, constant detective work, constant. Uh, looking into new things and you have to enjoy that and I think you only enjoy that if you're naturally curious. Um, the second thing is confidence. Um, uh, you have to you know, talk to sophisticated clients who, who know what they want and you, know, you, you typically know very little at the start of a project so you have to confidently engage with the clients and then immediately, you know, hours later probably by the latest, confidently engage with industry experts on the other side and that, that means you know, sometimes calling CEOs or former CEOs of, of leading companies um, and if you're a young, you know, early 20 professional and you're calling someone who's in his 50s and, you know, is a, is a you know, kind of a, the boss of the industry, basically, um, or very leading senior, senior lighthouse figure in that, um, that can be quite challenging for young people. So you need to be very, very confident. Um, you need drive and persistence. Um, you can't take no for a no. Um, you've got to find a way around it and make it a yes. Um, and... Um, and you have to work in a team because most of the projects are, you know, you can't solve by yourself. You have to work with colleagues, sometimes colleagues around the world in our other offices. So I'd say it's these basic traits that you have to bring. Um, and um, they allow you, I think, to develop a whole lot of, you know, very, very transferable professional skills, um, excellent communication skills. Um, 
the the ability to negotiate and, and navigate um, you know through difficult situations on, on both the client and, and on the advisor side. So it's it's a daily frontline role. It's a very commercial role. You know that you have a lot of lot of ability to actually impact the outcome of a project and therefore also you know how well the firm does by by your own thinking, your own actions. Um, so, so I think the people who, who you know spend 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 a few years with us come out as confident, um, highly eloquent, um, very commercial young professionals who then typically go on to other high growth companies. Um, they've been involved in the recruiting and the nurturing and the coaching of younger team members. Um, they have an understanding for how a you know fast paced company works, um, and and they. The, the few people you know that that have left us so far um, in in the last six years have all gone on to do to do great things, and we're very very proud of our alumni. In terms of advice to to graduates, um, I would probably say um, the f sooner you can learn who you are and what you want to do with your life, the the better it is. Um, and what I mean by that is, I think um, there's a big draw for, for graduates just to follow the herd and do what everyone else is doing and join a big brand name and uh, you know spend a few years there and then typically, especially in America, it leads on to spend another two years at business school and you know then you're suddenly in your late 20s or so and, and that's I think when a lot of people only wake up and say well actually who am I and what am I you know passionate about and what, I, what do I actually want to do and I think if you can bring that entire process forward by a few years and ask yourself those questions in your early 20s and answer them correctly then you can avoid a lot of um, you know well, years that you spend spend probably you know not not exactly on the course where you ultimately want to go. Um, now, practically, what that means is I think you have to you know look 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 into yourself and be be very you know um, introspective and understand what who who you are, where you are on the risk spectrum. You know, are you more on the entrepreneurial side? Are you more on the safe side? So that determines you know what kind of company you should be looking at. Um, are you you know, more on the extroverted side, or you go on the client side, um, th then I would look for a frontline role where you can hone these skills and develop them. Are you more of the, you know, analytical introverted type, then you probably want to have a slightly different role. But I think thinking through that very, very clearly, uh, rather than just uh, trotting on along with the others into a big brand name, is probably the best advice I would, would give everyone. And, um, you know, that, that's, I think, where, where the, the people who can who can find who they truly are and then follow their passion are the ones who who typically also become very very successful because they just enjoy what they're doing and that makes them you know naturally very good at it. In terms of motto, um, I am. Um, as probably many people who, who have uh, followed Steve Jobs' life have always been very impressed by his uh, 2005 commencement speech. Um, and I recommend everyone watch that on, on YouTube or, or somewhere. Um, and he you know, finishes this speech uh, by saying, you know, stay hungry, stay foolish. And I think that's a great motto. I think it doesn't matter what age you are, you should always stay hungry and, uh, and also stay a little bit foolish. So. My name's Rob Wooten. Um, I'm one of our vice presidents with the company. Um, I've been with Alpha Sites for six years um, and now I head up our capital markets business in Europe. So I, I head up the capital markets business in Europe um, and that serves a wide uh, variety of different types of investment groups. So we, we serve the advisory um, community who are um, ultimately kind of research and brokerage firms who need to educate their clients and keep them up to speed with um, market developments and things like that. Um, we also serve the ultimate buy side, so um, across a r range of different hedge fund strategies, um, including distressed debt, long short, long only, that, that type of thing. The core service at Alpha Sites is um, bridging knowledge gaps between um, investors and um, you know people that people that have the knowledge. Um, and I guess within the capital markets segment, which is which is my business, um, we do that in various different ways. Um, we are um, at the mercy of um, you know our clients in the market, so things change very very quickly, um, and we have to be ready to adapt to to the changing needs of of our clients. So um, you know a client could come to us on one day and say, um, I'm looking at investing in a um, I don't know a Ukrainian sugar business, for example. Um, we need to make a bid on this um, this you know uh, tranche of debt or something like that by the end of today um, so we need to get up to speed and understand exactly how that industry hangs together so our um, role at alpha sites is you know to very quickly get up to speed with um, the, the challenges and the you know the, the um, intricacies of that industry and then match them up with people who can address um, you know what they're what they're looking to do in that time frame
the thing I enjoy most about um, the capital markets business is we are, um, we are at the mercy of our clients and the market. So we have to think and act as quickly as they do and, and things will change very, very quickly. So, um, you know, uh, um, an upcoming earnings result will require um, additional um, types of things that, that we do. Um, and, you know, a, a company can be heading towards liquidation or something like that. And we have to act very, very quickly around our clients' needs and demands. There are two main things I think we look for. One is an intellectual curiosity, um, so people that actually care about the, the industries that, that they look into and, and, and thrive in an environment where they're constantly learning and, and challenging themselves in unfamiliar industries and unfamiliar jurisdictions. Um, the other one is a natural confidence. Um, so we have to have people who you know will represent us to our to our clients. So they're comfortable, you know, taking a phone call from um, you know very senior um, fund managers and things like that, um, and you know meeting them in meeting them in person and um, and selling the product and, and feeling comfortable doing that. So that's that's another main skill we look for. For, for new graduates, I think one of the, the, the key things we look for are sociable, outgoing and confident and bright individuals. So um, one of the things we always say is, um, you know, get involved in as many things um, at university outside of your studies. So all the extracurricular activities that you do, um, which expose yourself to lots of different, um, lots of different individuals, lots of different um, personalities and things like that. Um, specifically then talking about the capital markets business, um, which, I, which I head up, um, what we look for is um, the, the, the standard traits that we have in grad or the, that we look for in graduates, this um, confidence uh, and, and these types of things. Um, any knowledge also of um, you know the different types of asset class um, and, uh, and an investment remit of the groups that we serve is also is also beneficial. Um, it's it's not essential to, to come to Alpha Sites with a pure finance or economics background, um, but any reading that can be done and any you know any ways of furthering understanding of that area is always going to be beneficial here. At Alpha Sites, we, we have um, created a culture of um, you know work very very hard, um, but also have individuals who um, actually want to spend time together. So they share a um, you know not only a passion to deliver to our clients, but also to um, enjoy themselves and, and, and spend time. And I think um, pe people at Alpha Sites not only have colleagues, but have built you know good friendships within within the business. Um, we've always been a very um, sociable uh, sociable um, team. Um, if I think back, we've had um, we've had a number of um, interesting company trips, uh, both at summer and, uh, and end of year. Um, so we've been to uh, we've been to Ibiza, we've been to Tuscany. Um, this year we went to Marrakesh together, um, and you know th these are our big kind of summer events. But there's always um, things going on during the week. So we're involved in football leagues, in netball leagues. Um, there really is a chance to to get involved in anything here. The, the first six months at Alpha Sites for um, new graduates are quite intense. Um, so we, um, we have a structured training program which they go through. Um, a lot of it from there is then um, on the job and it's you know, understanding our systems, understanding our clients, understanding the way that we serve them and, um, and, and you know, recognizing how we've built the reputation to date. Um, I think the key um, aspects of the day-to-day -day role are around um, research, so understanding you know, the industries that clients are looking, looking into and looking to invest in, um, engaging and qualifying interesting candidates from across you know, a broad range of different industries that, 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 our, clients are, that our clients are looking into, um, and then packaging that up, communicating and, and, and selling it to our clients.